Now I want to take you on the top of Huerva Synagogue. Let's go together. It's over here. We go inside here. And I try to get you on top of the synagogue. It's going to be an amazing adventure. Let's go together and check it out. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. And it's here. Look at the entrance gate. Isn't that beautiful? And I try to get you on top of the synagogue. Hello. Look how beautiful it is. So now we are going to go to discover Uefa Synagogue. Look at this. Here is the history. And I will read it out to you. Look at first of all an overview. And look, 7020-720, the Rabbi Yehuda Hasid who in Huerva. In 1700, a group of immigrants led by Rabbi Yehuda Hasid, Rabbi Yehuda the Pious, arrived in Jerusalem. They settled in the Askenazi courtyard where construction had been completed on a large synagogue, 40 apartments, ritual baths and wells. In 1720, when the community was unable to pay the tax and high interest on their loans, Arab creditors destroyed the courtyard and burned down the synagogue. They lay in ruins for over a century, known since as the Rabbi Yehuda Hasid Huin Huerva. So we have 1868-1864, construction of the courtyard and the Beit Yaakov Synagogue. With the immigration of the Vilna Gons disciples, Ashkenazi Jews returned to live in Jerusalem. In 1836, they were granted permission from Egyptian ruler Mohammed Ali to rebuild the Ashkenazi courtyard, and in 1850-50, Moses Montefiore secured the permit to rebuild the synagogue. The structure was dedicated in 1864 and named Beit Yaakov, House of Jacob, after Baron Jacob James Rothschild. However, the local continued to call it Whoever Synagogue. Eighteen sixty four to nineteen forty eight. The Beit Yaakov Synagogue was the largest, most magnificent, and most important synagogue in Jerusalem. The Ashkenazi community's most important institution were housed here in the adjacent structures. The seat of the rabbinical court was here, as well as the home of Jerusalem's Ashkenazi chief rabbi. In 1920, the first British High Commissioner, Sir Herbert Samuel, a Jew, was received here and afforded the honor of a king. In 1948-2010, the restoration of the Hueva Synagogue. Shortly before the fall of the Jewish quarter during the 1948 War of Independence, soldiers of the Jordan Legion blew up the Huerva Synagogue. Few of the walls were left standing. After the liberation of Jerusalem and the Six-Day War, one of the synagogue's four arches were reconstructed, becoming symbol of synagogue and of the entire Jewish quarter. In 2000, the company for the reconstruction and development of the Jewish quarter began and the reconstruction of a new synagogue faithful to the original. Remnants of the walls were integrated into the new structure. The wall paintings were created in the spirit of those that graced the original walls. The restoration project was completed on Passover 2010. Here's a little model of the Weber Synagogue, and we are going to go on the top of it. And look at the beauty, isn't that? We have a look inside already of the synagogue. Let's keep on going. We go up here on the first floor now together. Let's go together. Oh, look at this, we can look outside here, 
you have a nice view and the Jewish quarter of the old city of Jerusalem, isn't that beautiful? We are going up here and you'll have a beautiful view of the synagogue. Let's go together. First floor. See, they are studying the Torah, Old Testament here. And what I try now this is, by the way, there is a Torah, um, um, how to say, a verse in this. And now we try to get up. There should be a chance to get further up on top of the synagogue. I try that out with you together now. We came up here. We went in here. And now I try to get further up. There should be a chance to get further up. Let's try together. We can go on the second floor. Yes, we can. Look, I take the second floor. And we go further up now, together. On top of the synagogue. This is an amazing, amazing view. I have to show you that view. Let's go together. And here we are. Look at that. On top of the old city of Jerusalem. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. You see the old walls combined with new structures. And here you see the look the stained glasses. Isn't that beautiful? You got the history at the beginning of the video, yeah? This is the way down. And we are going to go up. Look at these stairs, aren't they beautiful? Beautifully constructed. And we are going now on top. Let's go together. And look at this view, first of all. I want to show you this nice, nice view. Beautiful, no? Let's go further up. Down there, one of my favorite coffee shops, the Rufa House, uh, the Rufa Coffee Shop House or Rufa Coffee House. And we keep on going. And look at this. Dormizio over there. But we will go around now. And look at the metal. Isn't that art? This is artwork, no the metal. 
the fence. We will also go inside if it's open later, but first you see the stained glasses? Isn't that nice? The, sh the shadow, how beautiful, no? And look at that, the Temple Mount. The Dome of the Rock, exactly where that old temple, Jewish temple was standing. And look the Jewish quarter. And this is the menorah, which origin, is the original size, which was standing in the Jewish temple. Isn't that beautiful? It's down there in golden. And this is the main plaza of the Jewish quarter of the old city here. And here we can see some informations, you know. We check it out together if there's something interesting for you. So you have Mount Scopus on the left, which is over there. That is Mount Scopus. There's Mount Scopus Hospital over there. A bit further. Then you have Hippo University of Mount Scopus. You see that in the center. Then you have the Mormon, the arches, it's the Mormon University. Then you have the Dome of the Rock. Then the tower, that is August Victoria Hospital. Then you have the Mount of Olives. You have the Temple Mount. You have the Western Wall, not visible. Then you have the Ay Aqsa Mosque, which is in front Al Aqsa Mosque, yeah, which is next. You can't see it. You can see it a bit. Let me see that. Yes, you can see it a little bit. Al Aqsa Mosque, and then the old Jewish cemetery on the Temple Mount. Then you have over there starts the Judean desert. Isn't that beautiful? And again down here, the main plaza of the two squadra. Holy, Holy Sepulchre Church here, the two domes, grey domes. One is the um, Golgotha and the other is the, uh, the grave of Jesus. One is on top of Golgotha and the other dome, the bigger one, on top of the grave of Jesus. And where the, the, the tower is, that's where the main center of the Franciscan in the Holy Land is. Oh, let me see. No, no, no. This is the, the church, the Protestant church. And the tower over there, a bit further away, that's where the Franciscans are. And here again, look at the old city, the Jewish quarter of the old city of Jerusalem. Isn't that beautiful to see? And look at the old 
walls and structures. And we can go down here. But what I would like to go is to see if I can go inside the synagogue, if there's a chance up here to go inside. Here we see if that is possible. Here. There's a door. And it is possible. Let's go together inside. It was very narrow and now it's getting bigger again. And you see people studying. That's the door I entered over there. And I can go all the way around. And you have the Hope Holy Sepulchre Church. Getting back out 